How's it going YouTube? We're back building this LS motor for my C10. We've done a few other episodes on things we've done like the front, the back, the rear, the bottom. But today we're going to be putting a cam in this thing from Summit Racing, a new timing chain set and a few other goodies. So follow along. This is part one, cam and timing set installation. All right guys, like I said, we're gonna be throwing in this fancy Summit Racing cam. Oh, it's gonna be rolling out. Look, it's already wanting to go. So we're gonna be throwing this bad boy in. Let's see what the grind is. Oh, let's see. We got 222, 232. Um, 550 of lift. It's a it's a low lift cam, basically with 112 lobe separation. Not bad. Should be a little choppy. Should sound good. It's going in my 68 C10, so I'm gonna say we're building the driver and probably adding boost to it later. So I was told by someone that every cam is a boost cam, so let's add boost to it. Shoot. Got some other goodies here. Hmm, what is this? Is this a dampener? Converting my Gen 3 to something a little more newer. When we go to wrap up the motor, basically when this new timing chain set decides, decides to slap a little bit, I think that dampener's there to do its job. All right, well, let's get going. All right, guys, like everyone else, Got the assembly lube from Lucas Oil. Got every ounce of this thing. We actually wiped it off prior out of the box. And then obviously, like everyone else, grabs your water pump bolt. Everyone puts two in. I don't know if you really need to, but. As you can see, basically we could retard this, we could advance it, but today we're going straight up. So let's get this lined up on the zero on this side. As you can see, I don't know if you can see the little dot there, but there you go. So next we're gonna be installing I hear this cam retainer plate from Summit Racing. Just note to self, or note to you guys, this, this whole episode's not sponsored by Summit Racing. It's just what I could get in a timely manner. So appreciate the hard work from Summit Racing for them actually having parts in stock. Here we go. Being that this cam retainer plate basically has a seal that I recommend replacing every single time. I think a lot of other people do too, but basically basically this gasket flattens over time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw it up on here like this. And being that we have some other tricks and goodies to put in here, we're going to throw it in there like that. All right guys, we're about to install the Trick Flow Time and Chain Dampener Adapter. Basically, it's an adapter plate that they supply along with a GM dampener that you had to order separately. This takes this LS1 and kind of makes it like an LS2 with a dampener. So I've set my torque wrench to eight foot pounds. I'm gonna go through here, get the torques done first. All right guys. 
putting the dimple down, trying to keep that down in the downward position as we're slapping this on. And previously, loctiting the hardware helps. This one needs a little more Loctite. Probably not that much, but it works. So there you go. I hand tighten everything. I kind of check the pins on both sprockets. Make sure one's here. Make sure the other one's there. We're at top dead center over here. TDC. Run these things down and go grab the torque wrench and torque them. So here we go. <laughs> 13 foot pounds. And now going up to 26. All right guys, well that concludes the cam and timing set installation of part one of this three-part series. Stay tuned for more videos, like, subscribe,